Sustainable development is all about imagining what kind of world we want to live in and how we might pursue routes towards these futures. Education, of course, is really critical to this process. We talk about sustainable development providing the knowledge, the skills, the capacities and the competencies to support a real transformation towards sustainability. This means more than specific information about sustainable development, rather supporting students to develop these um, specific and generic competencies. The latter includes systems, critical future thinking, a capacity to work in an interdisciplinary way, inter and intra personal competencies and competencies for strategic working and also for normative and cultural attributes. Our project is essentially supporting universities to monitor and evaluate education for sustainable development to help institutions think about starting and deepening and assessing how much and the quality of their education for sustainable development. So firstly, we're assessing current approaches and tools. Secondly, developing generic tools and developing a framework. Thirdly, piloting the framework and finally, we hope to share these results in a workshop, a report and papers. So very briefly, our framework has six different elements. The first part is saying, if you are an institution, a programme, a module, that you start by contextualising education for sustainable development where you are. This is going to look very different if you're an art college from a um, vet school, for example. Secondly, it's about starting to monitor baseline, to start to map what you already have, which allows you to make plans for where you would like to go. So the third part is trying to say, well, let's make a plan. And how do we do that in a way that's going to bring on board staff and students and other stakeholders in the university and the wider community? And so this may be about supporting um, continuing professional development, offering award or certification systems, and um, very positive ways of getting people together. The next step is thinking about how we assess and deepen the quality. And so this is not only mapping on a superficial level, but starting to explore the um, in a reflective way how learners and educators feel that they have gained competencies. The next step then is thinking about the outcomes and impacts. What happens when our graduates leave? What effect do they have on the wider world? And finally, we're thinking about how does this evaluation feed back into our plans for education for sustainable development within a university. Uh, we hope to see many of you in our final workshop and we hope that we can support people's journeys towards education for sustainable development. Mm -hmm.